Hello, welcome back to another episode of Wealth in Christ podcast, a show where we inspire the masses to become financially free while building God's kingdom. On a podcast today is just your boy, Dami, the CEO. And today we'll be going over five things you can do to prepare for economic downturn. As you've probably have been hearing all over the news is the coming of a recession. You know, inflation is going up. You know, we have two negative GDP quarters, you know, all these different things are a sign that the economic will be changing very soon. You know, people are getting laid off at certain tech companies. Those are all different signs to show you that something is brewing that will change the economy. And if you're not prepared, it can be very harmful to you. So number one thing I want to talk about is one, increasing your income. It's important to increase your income. You know, inflation has been going up month after month. You know, last month, I believe, was almost 9.1%. So that basically means the cost of you buying bread, the cost of you buying cereal, milk, eggs, the regular necessity that you need to survive is now more expensive. So if your income has not increased, you now fall into a trap of living paycheck to paycheck. And you know, recently published, 64% of people are actually living paycheck to paycheck. So there's either two things you can do is increase your income, which is goals to asking your supervisor or your boss for a raise. That's one way. Two is starting a side hustle like Uber Eats or DoorDash, or even starting a side hustle, you know, whereas you're doing tasks, you know, on task rabbits. Those are ways you can increase your income. Or the other option that you can increase your income is to reduce your expense. That can mean that you stop going out to eat three times a week. It may mean that you go out to eat one time a week. That may be you um, not buying coffee every day at Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts. That could be you making coffee in Starbucks at Dunkin' Donuts. You know, for the time being, you have to figure out either you're going to increase your income or two, you're going to decrease your expense. So that's one. Number two is that you need to learn a high-paying skill. I can't stress enough, it's important to learn a high paying skill. And the skill that that's currently in demand are video editing, content creation. You know, those are some skills that are heavily in demand, you know, different tech skills. You know, if you know how to digital, digital marketing, you know, um, running ads for companies, those are different skills that are currently in high demand. And if you know how to do this, you can get paid top dollars. So it's important to continue to invest in yourself. And right now is the best time to invest into yourself. Right now is the best time to take that course. Right now is the best time to start that program, you know, so you can get, make extra income. So you can make that um, change that you need to make, you know, where it may be. You know, if you can't cut down on your expenses, the only option for you is to increase your, increase your income. And the way you can do that is by learning a high paying skill. Number three, it's important to pay up any high outstanding debt. You know, as interest rates are increasing, so that means that if you have debt on your credit card, those the debt, the interest that you're paying on a month to month basis will continue to increase. So let's say you're paying 12%, you know, now you're paying 14% because of interest rates has increased. And you continue to pay higher and higher as long as you have that outstanding balance. So it's important to not maximize your car if you can't afford it and just pay for, use your car for things that you can afford. So if you can't afford that new iPhone, you know, for money that you've been making, don't buy the new iPhone or credit card because the interest rate they're gonna charge you is not gonna make sense. So it's important to take a step back and realize where can you actually cut back? What are some goals that you may have and, of terms of buying things that you can push back a bit so you can pay off this debt. Because once you pay off this debt, you will have more freedom and more wiggle room to do other stuff, such as investing, such as, you know, going out to eat. Number four is to build your saving accounts to invest. You know, right now with interest rates going up, you know, saving accounts are now looking more interesting. You know, because, you know, you have banks given as high as 2% in some cases or 1.3%, depending on what bank you you use, 
for just for you having your money in the account. So this is a way for you can build up your emergency fund. This is a way that you can build money up um, for anything that you may need to buy, you know, a sale for a house, you know, sale for a, you know, a down payment for a car note. These are ways you can do that. You know, most people don't have a thousand dollars for emergency fund in case of emergency. Most people don't have a thousand dollars in case of emergency. So it's important that you first build that base of saving. Once you get that thousand dollars or what at least six to twelve months, which is what's recommended, you know, um in that saving accounts, then you can think of investing, which is my next thing. It's look for opportunities such as investment opportunities or business opportunities. You know, this is the way the wealthy continue to get rich because they take advantage of times like this where the economy is preparing for a downturn, where things are on sale. You know, the best time to buy things at the store is when things are on sale. So this is like Warren Buffett says, you know, when people are being greedy, you want to be fearful. When people are being fearful, you want to be greedy. Right now, people are being fearful because a lot of different things are uncertain. You know, so many different factors are playing into the economy. You know, a lot of big companies are stopping, stopping hiring. You know, companies are laying off people. These are all signs that something may be brewing, such as the econ economy downturn. So if you're listening to me, you're watching, watching this video on YouTube, it's important to have money saved up outside of the emergency fund you know, in case you lose your job or something happened to be able to invest. So you're able to capitalize, take advantage of these opportunities. It says in 2020, March 2020, when the market crashed, a lot of people wish that they had that money to invest. But now is a possibility the market may come down and you will have an opportunity to invest. So those are my five things that, you know, I would say that is important for you to do to prepare for economic downturn. One is to reduce your monthly expense or increase your monthly income. Two is to learn a high paying skill. Three, pay off any high outstanding debt. Four, build up your saving accounts. Five, look for investment and business opportunity. So yes, so if those are my five things that I want you guys to understand those are the five things that I think is important for you to do to prepare for an economic downturn. And if you guys don't know, I have a free study guide which will show how you can get started in a stock market completely for free. And you can get it on my website, wealthinchristbrain.com. And if you have yet to subscribe to us on YouTube, our podcast, please do leave a review. I truly appreciate that. And stay tuned for next week's episode.